Hello, fam. Okay, well, today, nice sunny day. Been out here just trying to uh, see how I'm going to make sure I have the proper drainage for when it rains. Because after that rain, I was able to see where all the water gathered up. And I uh, have an idea how I'm going to run my drainage back over there. And um, so I started just a nice little... Uh, getting an idea on where I'm going to put my wall here and run alongside so I, when I run my cement down here I can actually see where I'm, I'm going to stop and what I'm going to do. So I was thinking I'm going to cover this run, run here along here and then box this in and use that for something. So it's a couple ideas that I have that I'm thinking on doing. So today I kind of just graded out uh, a lot of the uh, area that I'm going to pour for the slab. And I just wanted to see how it looked. So I kind of sloped it out here. And I poured this section just to get a good idea of how I'm going to do it. You can hear the chicks in there eating. So I poured this here. And uh, so I'm going to bring it on around. And I graded this out really nice. So... Uh, I kind of brought it down here. Let me see. And then I have some more grading to do. So I'm doing a little just landscaping as I go along and grading it out. So with that being said, this is what I was doing today. And it's a really nice sunny day. So there you go, guys. And I'll be back at it again, I guess, tomorrow. Trying to pace myself on it. All right, and here we have the clotheslines being utilized. <laughs> oh, it looks good. All right, guys, and I'll be back at you in a minute. Okay, guys, we're gonna venture out with the truck. Uh, I put a piece on the truck and it's called a PVC valve because I think oil is going back into it, into the throttle body. Uh, it didn't seem to get rid of the whole problem, but this is what the road looks like and we're gonna take a ride out to see how things go. Anyway, um, got a little work to do on this road I see come rainy season, get a chance to see it all. All right. So, you want to take a ride along with us for a little bit? This is what we're about to do. Uh, and this is what we're going to be facing during rainy season. So, this is the road here that they've been using since they blocked off the other one. So, they've been using it all winter long, summer long, or <laughs> all dry season long. holes in it so here we go this is what we're going to be facing all right be back at you in a minute guys let me go here and navigate through these puddles all right but there's the other road that we did right here this there's no water down in that one and it's got solid it's a lot more solid than um, it was because this used to be full of water, like a lake, even though it still needs a little work like breathing it out. It's not as, um, you know, impassable because of the water. So I'll be back guys, just give you a quick view of just like two days after rainy season, we still have standing water. buy your land you want to make sure your um your roads are passable during rainy season all right i'll be right back at you thanks guys okay guys now this is another puddle here that we're facing and you have to navigate your way around them by trying to find the lowest 
or the highest point, I would say, and not go directly into the puddle. Okay. And mind you, this is like two days after it rained, just that one rain. So when the rainy seal season comes and it's regular, um, it's going to be a lot worse than this. And you know, you just have to. That's why I wanted to get the Jeep back up and running because the other lower car, you know, you're gonna have a lot of issues. And for the most part, this road, you've seen, is cool. And so I'm gonna take the back road around the other way to see this right here. goats they passed us and here we go this is another back way we travel sometimes all right here you go so mind you when it rains all it is here's another puddle here so I kind of go around them because you know when you go through them in mud so you're kind of like trenching them out helping them trench out a little bit more when you go all right so but i just wanted to show you some of the puddles and here's the, i guess the last one for now and i'll be back at you in just a minute as we navigate through these okay guys we made it from out the back road so as you can see the Main roads, you know, it doesn't, we don't have issues like that on the main roads. The problems are pretty much on the back roads, so just so you know, so traveling through here is pretty cool. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so yeah. That's what you're gonna be dealing with in the rainy season, and I'm sure it'll progress and get um, a lot more challenging but right now that was just one big rain and I thought I'd show you and the Jeep seems to be moving along pretty good so it cuts off sometimes still but that's all right uh, I gotta tweak it and figure out what's going on just wanted to bring you along for the ride going out do a little necessity uh, that's what it runs pick up some some necessities all right guys Thanks for uh, coming along. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, guys, we stopped to get gas. I just want you to see what the prices of the gas is here. The price of the gas or petrol is 69 Delasi uh, per, per liter, which is, you know, I guess. The equivalency of 69 Delasi per liter. And how many liters is it that um, actually fill the gallon? Three, three, three and a half liters equals a gallon. So that would be 69 times. So I guess prices are, you know, pretty much the same wherever you go. But, um, you know, it's just measured in liters as opposed to gallons. And it's not $6, that's for sure. But uh, this is our petrol station that we come and get our petrol. And I'm gonna get 600. The, the sun is finished, it's about to finish. Oh, it's almost out. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'll uh, take. That, that is very slow. Okay, I'll do 400. I guess you could stop there then, is that okay? 400. You think it'll make it? Uh, I didn't know it, let me, let me. Okay, you're, you're still going, okay. Really He's slow, we're about to finish because that's really slow. Huh? Oh, okay, the pump is almost finished, yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, you made it just in time, they're about to run out. But as you can see, here's another puddle that formed in front of someone's uh, house on the side of the road. That's common. You know? All right. All right. So, I'm going to get, I guess it's finished, so I'm going to pay him, guys, and I'll be done. All right, guys, we got it. At, in the nick of time, the petrol or gas just finished up. And we're going to move on. All right, we're gonna go, here goes a guy that tows. This is how the tow is usually done here. You tie a rope to a car and tow it. 
when you're on the side of the road. And um, this is our common everyday occurrence. That's what, how we had to tow ours when the um, when it broke down. There's sand trucks rolling. You see them? But uh, that's a common, so he's towing the car somewhere. But anyway, we're gonna go down and keep on going to get our necessities. Talk to you in a minute, guys. Thanks.